Hi again, it's Elizabeth in the library and welcome to this section where we talk about online proctoring. I hope you watch my intro video so you can understand everything about the library workshops. I did forget to mention we answer lots of questions in the discussion forum. We have a frequently asked questions group there. You're welcome to ask questions there or just to look there if you have any other questions. This semester, Coastline is piloting a new online proctoring system called Respondus. And the library is one of the groups that's piloting them. So Respondus is a completely different program than Proctorio, which is our other online proctoring system. The first thing to know is I'm going to walk you through how to use Respondus right now, today, here in this video. But if you're not able to use Respondus, that you can always enroll in the library workshop that uses Proctorio and the information about Proctorio will be there. So they are a little different. Respondus is actually something you have to download and install on your computer. They call it Respondus Lockdown Browser. And if you use Proctorio, that's something you'll actually just install in the Chrome web browser. For Respondus, here we go. This is how it works. So before we can even get to respond this, I want to talk to you about the one time passcode when you log into Canvas. So when you normally go to log into Canvas, this is the login page you'll get. And multiple times when you click on it, it will then ask you for the one time passcode. And you can set this up multiple ways to have it emailed to yourself, texted, and there's even a mobile authentication. And the reason I am mentioning this right now is because when you download the Respondus Lockdown Browser, it's going to ask you to re-log into Canvas and when you do that, you won't have access to your email on your computer. So in that case, you would potentially need to send a passcode to a text message or to your mobile authentication. But in my testing of Respondus, I found that there's actually a backdoor where you don't even use to use the one-time passcode. And what that is, is this option where you can have an alternative login for Canvas. So the first thing is I highly recommend that you set this up because if the main portal to Canvas ever goes down, you can always come in as a backdoor. But I actually always use this way to get in Canvas so I don't have to worry about the one-time passcode. So this way you would log in with your email address and set this up and this way you can do this. So if you use this way to log in when you're using Respondus, you don't need the one-time passcode. With all that being said, I'd also like to show you where you can modify your settings for the one-time passcode, where you can have it sent to, or if you wanna set up your mobile authentication. So with that in mind, what happens here is I've gone into my CCC. I find myself here, I this little icon. I click on my account, and under here, I'm able to click on the recovery password. And here I can change where I'd like to have it. I can send it to my email or text. I also mentioned there was the opportunity for mobile authentication, which one of my colleagues swears by. So you would click here, you would log in, and then what happens is you would download the app for mobile authentication and you would set it up. So I wanted to let you know about that because that is definitely gonna be a speed bump when you're trying to use Respondus if you use the one-time passcode. To download Respondus, you'll just need to click on the quiz. So when you go to the quiz, it's going to tell you that it requires a Respondus Lockdown Browser, and then if you've already downloaded it, that you need to launch it, so that's going to be to go into your applications or wherever else you have things that you launch, to take your quiz, and if you haven't already downloaded it, that you need to install it. To install it, you'll just click Download, and then you'll click Install Now and it's gonna install Respondus for the Coast Community College District. On my computer, it downloads a zip. I'm not sure what it's gonna do for yours, but wherever you download items, that's where it's going to show up. From there, you're gonna to need to install it. And this is why I mentioned that we also have the Proctorio option, because sometimes some of us don't have permission to install things onto our computers. So if that's the case, don't worry, we're going to have another option for you to use Proctorio for the library workshops. But in this case, if you have access to download something, you're just going to download it onto your computer. Okay, so once you've installed it, you then need to go and launch the program. And what will happen here is that it will tell you if block listed applications are running. So in my case, it seems like I'm always running some sort of program that I need to shut down. And so what happens is I have to go back out, shut down those programs, and then go back in, which is what I will do right now. 
Okay, hey, I had to switch to my phone because a lockdown browser is not gonna let me record anything with the things I usually use my screen capture with to make these videos. So this is some other thing I wanna mention really quickly for the library workshops is first, it doesn't really make sense to cheat in them, you can go through them and you can figure them out. I know a lot of times professors will ask you not to have your phones nearby, all of that kind of stuff. I totally understand that because they also don't want you looking up answers. But what I do as a student and what I'm asking you to do for the library workshops is keep your phone nearby. You can to like, totally flip it over if you don't wanna be distracted by it. But if some sort of issue comes up for technology, it's hard for you to take a screenshot to be able to show me or someone else who might I need to see that what is going on so if you run into any technical issues while using respondus and you can't take a screenshot please just pull out your phone take a picture of the error message get kind of close for me and then zoom back so i can see the whole screen and then just tell me what happened when you tell me you're having technical problems this helps me do a much better job of helping to troubleshoot it shows me what's going on and it helps me you know send that information on now let's get into what's happening in the respondus lockdown browser if you recall before, I had a whole bunch of things that needed to be shut down before I could do anything. So I'm going through my computer, I'm shutting down everything that needed to be shut down for the lockdown browser, and then I'm going to relaunch it. So once I've quit all those applications, that login page that we talked about earlier comes up. The one where you can log in with your Coast username or password, or where you can log in with the alternative Canvas login. Like I've already said, I use the alternative Canvas login, and I just click on that here, and then I log in that way. So what happens is it basically just brings me up like I'm in Canvas in a normal web browser. So I'm gonna have to re-click on the library workshop. I'll need to go into the modules and go back to the photo identification verification practice quiz. And then I take the quiz. So just a quick note, Coastline is piloting this this semester. So if you have any feedback, go ahead and let us know. We're ultimately doing this for the integrity of the education that we have. And so any feedback you have is great. Once you log in and click on the quiz, you're going to see the way I've set up Respondus for this course. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to need to agree to the terms of use. The next thing you're going to do is a webcam check. And I probably should have mentioned that you needed a webcam for this. So here I am mentioning it now. So you're going to do a webcam check. The third thing you're going to do is you're going to need to show your ID. And as I mentioned before, if you want to cover anything, that's totally fine. You can see in this page where I'm showing my identification, I have my, my picture and my name. And then you'll click take picture when it shows up and then you can click continue. From there, Respondus uses something they, they call the facial detection. And I just wanna let you know that in the library, we really are just interested in checking your photo ID. Respondus does record you during this. We in the library are not looking at any of that. If there's music happening, if someone comes in when you're doing anything, you don't need to worry about that for the library. But as a total side note, if you're taking any kind of quiz for a different class, if possible, and I know it's not always possible, but try to let those around you know you're taking a test. Try to find a space where people don't walk in. I have a joke that I um, have a library office sign that I hold up. I kind of put on the back of my computer when I'm working so my husband won't talk to me. And when I'm a student, I actually put a big red sign on the back of my computer that says testing, please do not disturb when I'm taking a class. So just those things to consider in the library. We're not too worried about that um, for our workshop but you will have the facial detection check. And this is also part of why we're piloting this program. We wanna see if it works, if it works during your quizzes, all of those kinds of things. And I encourage you to give us any kind of feedback. And because privacy is so important to the library and to everyone here at Coastline, this is part of why we're piloting this program. Anything that's recorded using Respondus will only be visible by your instructor. The final step is going to be to begin your exam and you'll just click begin exam and then it will be like you're normally taking your exam in Canvas. And then when you're finished with it, you hit submit and then you'll have the option to go to whichever library workshop you'd like. Since you're already in the lockdown browser, you'll be able to just go in. You don't have to reopen it to take any of those quizzes. Everything will be set up. 
But if you quit the lockdown browser and you haven't completed the library workshop and you need to come in to complete different sections of which everyone was assigned to you, then you will need to relaunch the lockdown browser, log in again, all of those things to be able to do it. So there you go. Good luck and um, let us know if you have any questions.